In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we have a new lesson for second secondary grade, first semester, English subject, unit 3, conversation listening vocabulary, mega goal 3. Today we will learn how to make and decline special requests. Listen for specific details about packing for a trip. Learn new words. What do you do when you board a plane? When you board a plane, do you go directly to your chair or assigned seat or do you seat, uh, sit um, in any place or the place you prefer? What do you do there? Do you have to sit in your assigned seat? Of course, you have to sit on your assigned seat. Where do you like to sit? By a window or on the aisle? What do you prefer? Sit by a window or on the aisle? Now, let's listen to this conversation. Flight C-458 is ready for takeoff. Please ensure your seat belts are fastened and your seats are locked in the upright position. Excuse me. Yes, can I get something for you? No, but I wonder if I can ask you a question. Certainly. I see that there's an empty row near the front of the plane. I was wondering if it would be possible to change seats. I usually try to get some sleep during red-eye flights and it would be much easier if I could spread out. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. It's against our policy for passengers to leave their assigned seats on this airline. Well, that's a crummy policy. I don't get it. Other airlines allow it. Why should passengers be crammed together when there are open seats on the flight? Please try to understand. The problem is that if we gave you the seat, it wouldn't be fair to other passengers who might also want the open seat. That's a drag. Especially since I requested a window seat at the front of the plane, and they put me on the aisle near the back. Could I see your ticket, please? Sure. Why? Sir, the empty window seat at the front of the plane is your seat. Your seat is number three, not 33. Oh, awesome. Now, we have some new words in this uh, conversation. First one is red eye. It means overnight. Crummy means bad. Don't get it means don't understand. A drag, a disappointment. Awesome, terrific, fantastic, great. Now we have these questions. What request does the passenger make? How does the flight attendant respond? What reasons does he give? How does the passenger end up getting what he wants? Now, let's listen again and try to find the answer of these questions. Flight C-458 is ready for takeoff. Please ensure your seat belts are fastened and your seats are locked in the upright position. Excuse me. Yes, can I get something for you? No, but I wonder if I can ask you a question. Certainly. I see that there's an empty row near the front of the plane. I was wondering if it would be possible to change seats. I usually try to get some sleep during red-eye flights, and it would be much easier if I could spread out. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. It's against our policy for passengers to leave their assigned seats on this airline. 
Well, that's a crummy policy. I don't get it. Other airlines allow it. Why should passengers be crammed together when there are open seats on the flight? Please try to understand. The problem is that if we gave you the seat, it wouldn't be fair to other passengers who might also want the open seat. That's a drag. Especially since I requested a window seat at the front of the plane, and they put me on the aisle near the back. Could I see your ticket, please? Sure. Why? Sir, the empty window seat at the front of the plane is your seat. Your seat is number three, not 33. Oh, awesome. So now, let's try to answer these questions. What requests does the passenger make? What request does the passenger make? The answer is, he would like to change seats. How does the flight attendant respond? What reasons does he give? Did he say, okay, go ahead, or he respond politely and gave reasons for decline? He says that, that changing seat won't be possible because it wouldn't be fair to other passengers. It's also against the policy of airline. Number three, how does the passenger end up getting what he wants? The passenger was in the wrong seat to begin with. He moves to his assigned seat, which is the one that he wanted. So, he was sitting on the wrong seat. He preferred another seat. He requested it, but he misunderstood the uh, the uh, paper which he which he was given for the assigned seat, and he sat in wrong place. Then he discovered that his place is his what he requested. His assigned seat is what he requested. Now, to make uh, decline uh, and request, you can use some phrases. First of all, how to make special request. How to make a special request. Think about it as written here wonder if it would be possible then you make your request do you think it is it would be possible then you can make also your request I'm afraid we can't then tell your reason this this side is for what? For declining. And these two sentences to make request. So to decline, you can say also, I'm afraid we can't. That won't be possible. Unfortunately, that's not possible. We can't do it because I wish it would uh, it were possible, but the problem is, and you can then tell the reasons why do you decline. Listening. Listen to the experienced traveler talk about what to pack for backpacking trip through Europe. Tick this, the items he recommended or he recommends bringing. 
The most important rule of thumb when packing a backpack is to pack light. You may think it's a good idea now to pack that pair of expensive boots and your smartphone, but later you will undoubtedly find yourself wishing you hadn't brought these things. One common backpacking tip is to pack everything you think you need and then take out half of what you've packed. In addition to items you obviously must bring, like toiletries and a few changes of clothing, don't forget to pack essential items, such as a light rain jacket, a fast drying towel, and some first aid equipment. It's important to pack some bandages. However, just pack two or three bandages, not a whole box. Tweezers also come in handy for everything from removing ticks to taking out splinters. It's also a very good idea to throw a couple of trash bags in your backpack for dirty laundry, wet items, or garbage. Aside from what you should pack, it's also quite important to consider where you should pack each item. Nothing is quite so frustrating as having to dig through your backpack to retrieve an item that is buried at the very bottom. Keep items which you will need to access often, such as your sunglasses, your water bottle, and your guidebook, in an easily accessible front compartment. And one final thought. You know that expensive watch your parents bought you for graduation? Leave it at home. The same thing goes for all expensive jewelry and equipment. Unfortunately, things have a way of getting lost, stolen, or broken when you're backpacking. So only take items you won't be horrified or heartbroken to lose. Now, what about rain jacket? Did he recommend it? Yes. Smartphone? No, he said that. Of course you will not forget your smartphone, but he didn't recommend it. Expensive bo boots? No. Sunglasses? Yes. Toiletries? Yes. Box of bandages? He said no, don't take box of bandages. Trash bags? Yes. Tweezers? Of course. Water bottle? No. Expensive jewelry, he said, avoid taking expensive jewelry. <clears throat> Two to three bandages, yes. Guidebook, of course. Now, let's listen again and uh, tick when we listen to the answer. The most important rule of thumb when packing a backpack is to pack light. You may think it's a good idea now to pack that pair of expensive boots and your smartphone, but later you will undoubtedly find yourself wishing you hadn't brought these things. One common backpacking tip is to pack everything you think you need and then take out half of what you've packed. In addition to items you obviously must bring, like toiletries and a few changes of clothing, don't forget to pack essential items, such as a light rain jacket, a fast drying towel, and some first aid equipment. It's important to pack some bandages. However, just pack two or three bandages, not a whole box. Tweezers also come in handy for everything from removing ticks to taking out splinters. It's also a very good idea to throw a couple of trash bags in your backpack for dirty laundry, wet items, or garbage. Aside from what you should pack, it's also quite important to consider where you should pack each item. Nothing is quite so frustrating as having to dig through your backpack to retrieve an item that is buried at the very bottom. Keep items which you will need to access often, such as your sunglasses, your water bottle, and your guidebook, in an easily accessible front compartment. And one final thought. You know that expensive watch your parents bought you for graduation? Leave it at home. The same thing goes for all expensive jewelry and equipment. Unfortunately, things have a way of getting lost, stolen, or broken when you're backpacking.
so only take items you won't be horrified or heartbroken to lose. Vocabulary. A time for vocabulary. We will read the meaning of this vocabulary, then I'll ask you about them. First one is pristine. Pristine means not spoiled, something original. Preserve, to keep safe from injury, harm, or destruction. To preserve, to keep it safe. Conservation, careful protection of something, to protect something. Incentive, something that causes a person to act, to stimulate someone. Deforestation, the action of cutting down trees to clear forests. Cutting trees of forests is deforestation. Characteristics, distinguishing traits or, traits or qualities. For example, we can say the characteristics of my friend is that he is uh, funny, he is serious, etc. These are characteristics. Remote means not uh, close, far or geographically isolated when the island is remote it means isolated geographically reduction to make something less lessing diminishing lush abundantly green or fertile now match the words with their meaning. Pristine is it A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, or I? What do you think of this? Uh, the, uh, the word pristine, what's the meaning? Do you think it is I? Not spoiled? Is it true? Excellent, it is I. Preserve. Is it careful protection? Or to keep safe from injury, harm, or destruction? Of course, it is F. To keep safe from injury, harm, or destruction. Conservation is careful protection of something incentive what's the meaning of incentive see something that causes a person to act what about deforestation to cut trees so this a the action of cutting down trees to clear forests Characteristics means traits, distinguishing traits or qualities. B. The answer is B. Remote. Geographically isolated. H. Reduction. It is lessening or dimension lush we still have D abundantly green or fertile today we learned how to make and decline special requests like wonder if it would be possible this is an example of, of what? Making request. Also, we listen to specific details about 
picking for a trip and then we learned new words like red eye crummy don't get it drag awesome thank you for your listening thank you for your attendance this is the references i hope you enjoy this lesson wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh